How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I want to share with you guys a few tips to keep yourself protected while shopping online. Now, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that before you share your personal information with a website, do your research. Now, I've done my research. I've ordered stuff from ASOS.com before, and I know that it's pretty safe. So, you know, I don't need to worry about that. But if you buy products from a new website, read what other consumers think. And you can do this by reading online reviews. The second thing is that you want to Keep your personal information safe. Now, of course, when sharing personal information with e-commerce platform, be aware of the information they're asking for. If you believe that the vendor is asking for information they don't need to process the order, then steer clear of them. Number three is keep your devices clean. The reason applications and other software provides updates is to reduce the risk of malware making its way onto your device. With this in mind, it's important that you keep your phone, tablet, and computer updated. Also, invest in an antivirus package. And if you don't want to invest in an antivirus, I have an option for you guys. Just stick around till the end of the video. Number four, fortify your online accounts. So if you stay safe when shopping online, you must enable the strongest authentication tools on your devices. And some of these include security keys, biometrics, um, authenticator applications that give you unique one-time passcodes, such as Google Authenticator, uh, two-factor authentication. Also make sure that your passwords are strong. You know, a sentence that is at least 12 characters long, a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols, include both lowercase and uppercase letters. Um, if you find that you have too many passwords to remember, just get a password manager and you should be good to go. Uh, number five, get savvy with your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. What you want to do is make sure that your Bluetooth is always off. Also, same thing with the Wi-Fi because certain locations monitor consumer activity by looking for devices with their Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. And this will go hand in hand with using a VPN because the final tip I have is you want to use a VPN. So when you're using a VPN, you're not using your own IP address. Also, you're securing your entire device. And if someone tries to intercept your uh, network or device, they won't be able to because everything that you're doing online is going to be encrypted. A VPN will allow you to connect to the internet via a server in a location of your choosing. And by doing so, hackers and other prying eyes can't steal any information from your device, especially if you have billing information on your device. When you're connecting, let's say, to a public Wi-Fi, you are compromising your data if you're not connected to a VPN. And of course, a VPN is not just to secure your device. A VPN will allow it to appear as if you're in a different location, which will give you access to websites and streaming services that are not available to you if you aren't connected to that location. So let's say I want to get access to a French uh, streaming service. Very simple, connect to a French server and I'm good to go. Let's say I want to connect to Hulu or the US Netflix library or Disney Plus, simply connect to a New York server or an American server using any of these VPNs and you'll be good to go. By the way, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and your preferences. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. Uh, all these VPNs, by the way, are covered by 30 day money back guarantee, so you can test drive any of them uh, risk free. And if you're not satisfied with any of them for whatever reason, you can simply get yourself the refund. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the reviews down below. Besides that, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that in the description down below. And comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.